Everything is metaverse now. I'm building something called the metaverse. Opportunity is for the metaverse, but I'm the metaverse can be defined as a companies are pouring hundreds of millions of dollars into the vision of the metaverse. Do around a billion people in the metaverse do marketing people will ruin metaverse, but before we do, they will make you sick hearing about it. You see the term is thrown around like confetti. AI move away. Metaverse is a sexy kid on a block now. Just look at this ad I spotted while researching content for this video. It's mashup of keywords and nothing else. Like suddenly anything that is 3D, virtual world, virtual space, or even VR is stamped as metaverse. Quite same as everybody can be a woman now. Is what exactly is a woman? Well, it's it, for me, it's actually a really simple answer. And that's a person who identifies as a woman. But what are they identifying as? As a woman. But, just, but what is that? As a woman. You're seeking an essentialist definition of gender. I'm not seeking any type of definition, I'm just seeking a definition. Anyhow, after Zex brought up his metaverse vision to a mass audience, the space just exploded. Just look at this metaverse map, it's overwhelming. Is it? I will break down this map, which is a bit crazy, so simply that even my mom can understand. Hi mom! But before that, we need to uncover once and for all what is not a metaverse and what it could actually be in the future. I really hope that after this video, you won't get fooled by marketing people or consultants screaming that you need to get into metaverse. Ask them which one of these actually. The term metaverse originated in 1992 in a science fiction novel, Snow Crash by Niall Stephenson. The metaverse term is mashup of meta, and universe. Meta from Greek meaning after or beyond. The author imagined Metaverse as a successor to the internet itself. By the way, I'm listening to Snow Crash now and it is 17 hours listen, so whew. however, it's still less than Tim Ferriss Titans. No shade, just 22 hours is long. Let me know if any of you actually read Snow Crash in the comments below. Two decades later, we have many, many people debating what Metaverse should actually be. It's a meta comic. Yes. Is it going away? I don't think so. No. You may say it's going away. I don't think it's going away. This meta is a full argument against this. What is your just kind of macro thesis of the Web3 place we're going? Whether it's the Metaverse, the NFT stuff, like... While I was dismiss it altogether as some sort of utopia we as humanity don't really need. I was escaping reality. Because why? And reality is so unbearable. Well, tonight I'm going to show you why humans have been escaping their reality. I mean, no. to me, it's just the devil, you know, trying to give us more artificial However, as of making this video in June 2022, the current definition of metaverse on Wikipedia is this. And yes, I like Wikipedia. Sue me. In futurism and science fiction, the metaverse is hypothetical iteration of the internet as a single, universal, and immersive virtual world that is facilitated by the use of virtual reality and augmented reality headsets, or in human words. A metaverse is a network of 3D worlds focused on social connection and interaction. And explaining like I'm five version is, metaverse is the sum of all the virtual worlds. So as you can see, metaverse is not just one virtual world created by a giant corporation. But let's look at what guys and gals of the metaverse on the internet has to say about it. Let's start with the guy of the metaverse, Matthew Bell. Ladies first would be a little bit of a cliche, don't you think? Anyhow, in respect to Matthew's upcoming book, The Metaverse and How It Will Revolutionize Everything, I think it is worth first checking what metaverse is not according to Matthew. The metaverse is not first virtual world. It is also not virtual space. It is not a virtual reality. It's not just virtual or digital economy. It's not just a game. It's definitely not a virtual theme park or Disneyland-like entertainment. It is not new type of app store. And it's most definitely not just another user-generated content platform like Facebook or YouTube. Okay, but Matthew, what is it then? I define the metaverse from the perspective of a massively scaled and interoperable network of real-time rendered 3D virtual worlds that can be experienced synchronously and persistently by essentially everyone on Earth and which supports continuity of key components of data, identity, history, payments, virtual objects, and goods. I hope Kathy doesn't mind me calling her the gal of metaverse on the internet. I know that others call her the grandmother of metaverse, but I don't really vibe with that. That's beside the point. Kathy 
was talking about metaverse before it became cool. Can you imagine? What I'm going to try to do is explain a little bit about what the metaverse is and where we're going in this future. So in the web 1.0 times, you got the internet that connected information. In web 2.0, that connected people. And we got social media, and it also connected you know, people through the sharing economy. We're in the evolution of this web 2.0, going into what's called web 3.0, which connects people, places, and things. And if I'm right, she's been talking about it even before Matthew got into the space. And you know, Kathy is the it girl. Then you try to look her up and ads for Metaverse event are popping up with her name. Or even better, when she rings Nasdaq Bell, both in reality and in a virtual world. It doesn't get better than that. Now that you know the origin of Metaverse, what Wikipedia has to say about it, what boys and girls of the internet say about it, let's break down that map I showed you before. Broadly speaking, there are two competing visions about Metaverse or how to go about it. One is open and one is closed. In that sense, there are actually three. First one, the open one, if it is a natural evolution of the internet, kind of next generation, front-end browser-like concept, but this browser is immersive and 3D, it should be built on a new technology like blockchain. Synonyms here are opened, maintained, and governed by people or community. Second is closed, created and enabled by big corporations who can just throw money at it, can build fast using AI, and already own billions of users on their own platforms. And yes, think about Facebook's announcement about Metaverse. So the third one, imagine kind of new technology which can actually facilitate both open and closed, kind of overlooking all these technologies and all the virtual worlds, however they are built. And this third option allows users actually to choose which world they want to join, open or closed. For example, and I might be biased because I implemented one of these GDPR thingies for a tech company, I never click to accept all these cookies unless I absolutely have to. And I go deep into settings, try to prevent company or third party using my data. But I know for a fact that I'm part of 0.01% of people who do it. And yes, I will admit I read once terms of service. Not proud of that. But I guess what I'm trying to say is that people or anomalies like me are not going to call the shots. Billions of users who are going to use these platforms will make the final decision and they will have the say what they care about. So, the time scope of this map is from 2016 all the way to 2022, Q1. As you can see on the blockchain side, most projects are in development or very, very new. So, if marketing people leave you feeling missing out and you tend to go into FOMO, just look at this and realize how early you are just watching this video in 2022. And yes, mom, even you, we are super early. Okay, so this side of the pie is divided into how can you actually access this virtual world, current computer browsers or VR headset. If we even further slice the pie, we get into technology, Ethereum and other blockchain technology. Why Ethereum? Ethereum blockchain was founded in 2015 by this guy, Vitalik Buterin. We have a blockchain where instead of the blockchain working like us with Army Knife, where you have you know, five different tools for five different categories of applications, you have a blockchain that understands a general purpose programming language. The other how is more familiar to us. It's internet as we know it, and the projects are owned and built by companies or corporations. The bottom right is virtual spaces in virtual reality using headset, and it breaks into worlds and rooms. But here's what's interesting, the top right looks at the browser used virtual Worlds, and it breaks down into users. Who is using it? This part, the most populated one, is used by kids and teens, and next to it, the older users. As you can see, this kids and teens been using these platforms for the longest, and this project's been running all the way from 2016 even. Kids and teens who are the most familiar with this kind of concept of virtual world, and they will be first to jump onto the next big thing. Having a tiny baby made me think more deeply what kind of world she's going to be experiencing and will I be part of that and for that matter or at least I would like to learn about it. That's why in this video here I talk who is going to be actually building inside the metaverse and you can check out another video which I did about Dali 2 AI. Could take artist jobs away. It's a 
exciting, carry, just judge for yourself. So I'm going to insert the video here for adorable. Anyhow, bye!